Whether you live in the vibrant environment of the city or the green and pleasant land of the countryside, there are chances for us to explore the world that we live in every day. And yet, many of us take it for granted. The third episode of The Difference of Dan takes a look at two massively important parts of our landscape that, believe it or not, affect every one of us. Join me on a journey to explore the differences between slopes and hills. Imagine a world where every one of us was stuck to the floor. No one could move. The entire human population was in a freeze frame. Wouldn't be very long until you got extremely bored at looking in the same direction day in, day out. But even still, I bet there'd be some things that you don't consider, that you don't particularly see. For example, take a look at this shot. How would you describe it? Well, it doesn't take a genius, does it? The beginnings of a wind turbine over there, some vegetation all around me, and a flat road. One of the most obvious observations, and yet very wrong. But this particular road isn't flat. It's not flat at all. I'm actually walking on a slope. It may not look a slope, but it definitely is a slope. How can we know this? Well, we look at Alden's survey map, and the survey map says that if I'm standing roughly about here, I'm not metres above sea level. And if I'm up here, If you travel up here, literally I've only walked about 10 metres or so, I'm actually one metre above sea level, proving a significant point. A slope doesn't just have to be something you can physically point out and say, ah, oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. It actually can only be one degree above the horizontal line for it to be a slope. And the ground beneath us is always changing shape, which reminds us that whilst we may take control on top, the earth is still in authority, deep below the crust. Sometimes flat land is quite a good thing, and it can't be more true than here in Norfolk. And East Anglia prides itself in having some of the most flat land in the country. How we've used it? Well, we've built monocultures, fields after fields of crops. Vegetables, wheat, barley, you name it, look in your freezer tonight. See if you've got something from Norfolk you probably have. Which means that we've built an industry on the fact that the fields here are so flat. The almost flat land means farming is on the whole easier. Some areas of flat land are very important as well. Take these floodplains for example. I'm actually in Horsey, a very common area for floodplains to occur. I'm actually standing on siltstone, this is what the river's deposited when it's exceeded its banks and built these fine floodplains. And you can see all these dotted around Norfolk. One of my favourites is an Upton as well. With very little slope, the east became a very good defence location. Take Norwich Castle for instance. Wonderful building. I could stand here and look at it all day, but the views were even more impressive if you turn around and look at the city. If this was the Dales, you wouldn't be able to get these panoramic views. It's because of the very little slope in the area that this view is possible.
But sometimes, very little slope is not such a good thing. The up and down terrain here provides a valuable natural resource, rain by relief rainfall. Relief rain occurs when warm, almost saturated air from the sea is blown inland by the wind. Where there's a mountain barrier, the air will be forced to rise over it. The rising air will cool and condensation takes place. And once over the mountain, the air will descend warm and therefore the rain is likely to stop. So how do we distinguish between what is a hill and what is a slope? Well, I suppose it's the extent to which it's obscuring your view. I'm walking on a slope right now, but I wouldn't say this is a hill as such. A slope, therefore, is anything with a gradient above zero. You know a hill when you see one, though, and Britain has got some pretty impressive ones. Hills are great places for wildlife and for pastoral farming and they keep the walkers and the cyclists entertained for hours. So, in summary, slopes are anything with a gradient just one, that sometimes are very difficult to spot. Hills, on the other hand, large, obscure your view and provide a perfect photo on that summer's day. <laughs>